welcome back and first thing don't watch this video until you watch the first part or you won't understand a thing i'm gonna do so to recap in the first part we made a circuit on a breadboard where we used a triple five timer ic to replicate the nav lights on an airplane and in this video we're going to take that circuit and make it into a small pcb so we can install it on an rc airplane and before we start soldering make sure you subscribe to this channel and help me reach 500 subscribers before we begin soldering the components, make sure you draw the circuit diagram on the PCB and cut out that small section. The circuit diagram will be available on the Jet School Instagram page at Jet School Official. Links are in the description. We're going to start with the IC. Now with the small notch facing towards your left, insert the IC into the PCB. Now heat up your soldering iron and apply a small amount of solder to the tip. This small solder helps transfer the heat more effectively. Place your PCB on a firm place. I'm using blue tech or a sticky clay like thing. Then just solder all the pins one by one. If you don't know how to solder, check out my video I made on soldering ESC connections. After soldering the eight pins, just take a moment to admire the beauty you have created and congratulate yourself. But don't get too carried away, we're not done yet. Now just like we did on the breadboard, we're gonna connect pin number four and eight. So for that, I'm going to use one of the terminals of an LED, mark the length, cut it, then put some blue tag on one side to hold it in place and solder it on. Then do the same on the other end. Just be sure to solder it on in a way in which it doesn't extend to other holes on the PCB. Next, we're going to solder on the diode. Remember, cathode or the white strip goes to pin number 8 while the anode goes to the positive supply. In this circuit design, to the right of the IC is the input and to the left is the output. After soldering on the diode, trim off the excess leads. Now let's install resistors. So first insert resistor R1 in pin 8 and 7 and then resistor R2 in pin 7 and 6. Cut the pins up to required length and bend them towards the IC pins, then solder them together. Now insert identical resistors R3 and R3 dash to pin number 1 and 3 in which the 1 at pin number 3 should go to the negative of the strobe LED and the pin number 1 resistor to the negative of the constant LED. Don't make my mistake by uh, connecting it to pin number 2 as you can see. I only realized this after I soldered the capacitor and desoldering is not easy and I lost a lot of time correcting that mistake. And this is the exact reason we study and test the connection on the breadboard beforehand. So next connect the positive terminal of the capacitor to pin number 2 and the negative to the positive supply. Solder the terminals then cut the leads to appropriate lengths and bend them towards the IC pins and solder them as well. Now with all the main components soldered on we need to connect ground on the IC pin that is pin number 1 to the ground input terminal on the right side of the board. So for that use a small wire and solder pin number 1. Next make a similar connection with the wire, this time between pin numbers 2 and 6 on the IC. Now we're going to test it, so we'll just stick the LEDs on the terminals and connect your battery and just see if it works. And it does. Now there are two ways of connecting LEDs. You can either solder them directly through a wire and install it in your airplane. Or you can use the ends of jumper cables to make connectors which helps if you need to swap out the board to another airplane. I use the connectors and it worked pretty good. Finally, let's test it with the receiver on an airplane. So take your receiver and take the positive wire from your PCB and connect it to the positive pin of channel 5 and the ground to the ground pin. Then connect your battery and you can see it works perfectly. There are some limitations of this design, like uh, the constant lights not working properly when you use different color LEDs. I assume it's because of the different operating voltages of the LED. If it's the same color LED, then they work together without any issues like the white strobe lights. So there is room for improvement. Version 2 will be developed and released soon. So subscribe for version 2 and like if you found this video helpful in any way. Whether this has inspired you to make one yourself or learn something new. Feel free to give me some feedback in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching, lots of exciting stuff coming up, so stay tuned, until next time, bye bye.